morning, when you drive into London, I'm just on the A3, and you get these lovely uh, digital billboards, which you can advertise on. Now, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I would love to have a big NU on that sign. Just coming over sort of uh, Morden Bridge. And over here, you've got the big outdoor driving range. So they, they're always advertising these uh, boards. Now I'm thinking about sticking an NU up there, but shall I do it or not? Because is everyone's attention when they're driving on the road, or do they look at the boards? You know, because I guess they're not going to be cheap. Uh, it would be good brand awareness because even you know having a quick glance and you see the hashtag NU is quite good isn't it it just goes into your subconscious mind and that's why our branding is so good because it is so short and all you've got to do is have a quick glimpse of NU and it pops into your head and if you see it enough when you do want a builder, we're going to probably be on the one of the top of your list to phone up. So I may give them a call to find out what costs are involved uh, and how long the contract's for. Maybe good, because our, the, the sign we've got opposite Chelsea Football Club, that's a static sign. We've had that five years and uh, it's about the same size as those boards, but it's right opposite Chelsea. So everyone driving up the Fulham Road, uh, they can see it, it's massive, you know, right in your face. And that, to be fair, that's, that's worked quite well over the years. It's pretty expensive, uh, but it's worth it. And particularly because it's in a prime area, right, right opposite Chelsea Football Club, everyone going to the game's gonna see it. Everyone's gonna be coming out or going shopping up, you know, up Kings Road or into Knightsbridge or Mayfair. You know, they're all gonna spot it as well. So branding, branding and marketing is very, very important for them. Um, and that's what I think about more than anything. Brand awareness, marketing and sales. That's what makes us different. Because uh, other contractors, other builders, other interior designers will not be hitting it as hard as what we do across all the platforms, Insta, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Snap, what else, what else is it? What have I forgot, because we're everywhere. Content creation, that's very time consuming, but crucial. So in-house, we've got our own uh, videographer, Connor, and we've just taken on a Graphic designer, Louisa, um, both, in, both incredible young talents uh, with, you know, the future is looking really good for these, these kids. Um, yeah, so creating the content and then getting it out there across all platforms. That's the name of the game, turning these little phones into the window to the world what's next well things to look out for voice so we had don't have anything on voice yet like on Alexa so if you're in your office or <clears throat> you go uh, Alexa uh, local builders Fulham and guess what we need to be on that as well or even on 
Siri. Hi Siri, uh, local builder in Fulham please, or luxury builders London, or luxury builders West London. New need to be up there at the top. And these are, these are new um, platforms which are gonna be growing, growing, growing. So voice hasn't even taken off anywhere yet. It hasn't even begun. Um, you know, for instance, um, little jingles, little sound bikes, little uh, audio clips. They're going to be the they're going to be the things to trigger trigger people's imaginations. You know, like every brand, Coca Cola, McDonald's, all the big brands have got their own little jingle, little sound bite, haven't they? Which you hear it and you recognise it straight away. That's going to be big. So obviously we've got our little jingle. Uh, which my mate Mason Noise created, called Everything Brand New. So that's very uh, unique, very distinctive. No one else has got it. So that could be, that could be, uh, what's that thing, Shazam or something. So you, ha you hear the jingle, you Shazam it, it automatically goes to uh, the advert or the website or calls up the office. So it's all about thinking outside the box. And obviously we are ahead of the game in that aspect. So, and I'm, you know, I study. I'm on YouTube all the time. I listen to experts on podcasts. What are they up to? You know, and bring, bring that over to um, the construction industry. That's what makes us, that's what makes new different to everyone else. That is why our brand is strong. That's why everyone recognizes our brand. I'm just literally coming down into Putney. Monday morning, we've got Tess in the office, we've got Connor in the office, we've got Mohammed in the office. I am. We, had a, a, we closed a deal on Friday uh, for a basement in North London. Stage one professional fees because we need to get the structure drawings and um, the planning conditions signed off. So that is for a mega basement in uh, St John's Wood. So um, that is what we're going to be focusing on today. I'm probably going to take the architect over to meet the client tomorrow. And what else is there? Over the weekend, I had a very interesting phone call from a lady. Uh, she runs an estate agent in Essex. And she's got lots of high net worth clients and lots of celebrities, as you can imagine. Um, and they are always looking for a trusted brand a trusted contractor to team up with to do the, the work. So over the weekend, she's offered me, or she's sending me today, a basement project. So it's an existing house, and to the side, new basement and two-story extension. Uh, so we're going to go and we're going to try and have a little dabble over there. Um, the good thing about it is. My, one of my foremen and a project manager, he's from Chingford in Essex. So for him, it's right on his doorstep. So this could be a good little relationship and it takes a new into a different area. Um, this Essex is a, a bit, it's a bit far to go, especially from where I am on the South Coast and then the office is in Fulham. So it's right over the other side, isn't it? So distance is going to be a bit of a pain. But that's where bringing in a good team, project managers, foremen, subcontractors, could make it work. So that's one to watch out for. Uh, we may be doing a TOWIE uh, celebs house. So that would be good for brand awareness and social media presence. 
because we will definitely get some uh, posts on Insta and shares and likes and tweets and that kind of stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, the house in um, Fulham that's going very very well. The kitchen was being fitted last week. Uh, so that's there's no problems to report there very smooth everyone's happy clients happy going very very well the two commercial units in east london done signing off today thank god pain in the ass that was but they're done um signed up the little flat in wimbledon last week Another little one. Um, viewed a load of projects last week. Lots of new ones for the pipeline. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, that, you know, the, it's definitely picking up. The market is definitely picking up. People are still very, very nervous about Brexit. But um, on the 29th of March, we'll all find out what's going to be happening. I'll give you a little catch up uh, during the week. Uh, probably me and Connor would do a couple more videos. And that could be mashed up for all the social media platforms. So listen, don't forget to like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel. Because this is quite hard to get traction on. Because um, Instagram and Facebook's easy. But YouTube, really hard to get people subscribing. So please, if you get to the back of this video, hit the subscribe button or share it to your mates and ask them to uh, subscribe. That'd be really appreciated. Um, have a great day and uh, peace.